The San Diego Zoo is out here today to release 36 tortoises in collaboration with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And we're releasing them here back to the wild in a part of our translocation effort. So we're doing a research project to determine the best way to release tortoises back to the wild to help recover wild populations. The desert tortoise is considered a threatened species. Um, it's federally protected, it's state protected. In terms of numbers, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimated that there's about 150,000 desert tortoises left in critical habitat in the wild. And that may sound like a large number, but if you think of the size of the Mojave Desert and all of the potential areas where desert tortoises could live, it's a very small number. And tortoises really need to be in contact with each other, obviously, to reproduce and continue the species. And so part of our effort is to help increase those populations. In the past, they've been decreasing, and we've seen that through research efforts through the fish and wildlife. And so it's part of what we're doing is to help recover populations with this translocation research. The 36 tortoises are all wearing VHF transmitters and that allows us to manually track them. So we can literally go out, follow them around, see where they are, what they're doing, and record all that data. But another really cool thing we're doing is that we have GPS data loggers on some of those tortoises, on about 24 of them. And those tortoises are having the data recorded by that logger every 30 minutes during the active part of the day. So we literally know where they are in the landscape all day long. It's really important to have this data because we need to know if tortoises are successful after we translocate them. We need to know how many burrows they're using, how much they're, how big their home range is. So we need to know all of this information and be able to compare it to resident tortoises, which is part of the research project, to see are the tortoises really settling in and if this translocation was successful. So we just released a tortoise uh, here at a release site, uh, and we were debating if we should release it over there uh, into a, a bush area where it would be protected. But I decided to release it here near uh, a beaver tail cactus because it's flowering. That's a really good food source. And so she went right over to it and started eating. So it's so exciting. Well, the desert tortoise as a species is so important to the desert itself. Um, the desert tortoise digs these burrows that are useful to lots of other species out in the desert. So if you take desert tortoises out of the desert, those burrows won't exist anymore. And all of those animals that depend on those burrows are going to have a hard time getting by. So really, the whole Mojave Desert um, is really reliant on the desert tortoise as this kind of ecosystem engineer in digging these burrows. And they also disperse seeds of the plants they eat, so they revegetate the desert. Also important for all the other animals. <laughs>